Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one here is uh, going to be motivational. You know, hopefully it inspire you brothers, you know, brothers out there who may be weak. And also excite you brothers who are strong in the faith. And, uh, you know, teaching and pushing and, uh, you know, exhorting the name of the Lord, man. I uh, watched this video this morning and uh, it excited me. So, you know, I put a post to it for brothers to see it. And uh, since I was here at the park today, you know, ready to take it down, I uh, wanted to do a quick lesson. So, you know, I put some scriptures here already queued up, but I want to play this brother video here, which is uh, NDO Champ. I'm pretty sure y'all brothers know about him. He did the little Instagram thing, you know, with Fat Boy SSC, if y'all know about it. And, um, you know, a few other things, you know, he's like a bodybuilder. He's from Newark, New Jersey. You know, he grew up in these projects over here, the Spires. And um, he went to prison, you know, and um, of course, him uh, having a positive attitude, you know, he worked out, got himself, you know, big and fit. Now he's sort of like a bodybuilder. And he's very exciting, you know, when he speak, you know. So I really want to play, I want to play this video, but I don't want to play it to get a copyright strike, you know. So I don't know if he copyright his um, videos or not. So I really want you to hear the audio because everything he's saying, you know, for us brothers who serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we shall apply that in this truth toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the ways of how we manner ourselves, you know. You know, you got a lot of men who know that they're Israelites and women and they're following other men who know that they're Israelites and so-called leaders, but they don't, they're not carrying themselves in the right manner being that holy special people unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, it's like they're grabbing from the world, you know, as the scriptures say, can can you make clean uh, something, uh, damn, I keep forgetting how I go. Um, can you make something clean out of something unclean, roughly paraphrasing, you know, and you can't, you know. And uh, here at Great Millstone, starting with our apostles and elders, you know, they teach us how to man ourselves in this truth, you know, to be sit upright, you know. It's to be upright, to be holy, to be separate from the world as the Lord you know, it's separating us from the world. And that's why we go through our chastisement, we go through the fire, uh, persecution, and so on, man. Being chastised and punished, you know, just for this short time, all right? But um, anyway, I'm going to play some of the audio here, and uh, I want to read a few scriptures. champions you know just apply it to the truth you know we brothers we don't eat of the world we eat of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai you know McDonald's and Wendy's is all that false philosophy and Esau's Christianity and all these different false gods man all right we don't eat McDonald's and Wendy's and shit like that man you know we eat of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai which is eating the scriptures you know so we carry ourselves different you know, scriptures say the portion of Jacob is not like them, all right? The portion of the elect, okay, which which is uh, of the elect, you know, the chosen within the chosen is not like the chosen. He that got ears to hear, let him hear, all right? So... Champions walk like a champ. Champions speak like a champion. You want to... Yeah, and the way we man ourselves is in the ways and the orders of the Lord. So when we speak, we speak of the oracles of the Most High. You know, we're not speaking of things of our own opinion. We coming out of the scriptures. Be a champion. You gotta eat like a champ, walk like a champ, talk like a champ, train like a champ, behave like a champion, and hang with champions. Right now, none of this is 
to make you prideful, you know, but having that confident and upright spirit in your Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai, you know, because in this poor flesh, we get sick, we die, you know, we get hurt, we cry, you know, you get sad, you get angry, but the way that we should carry ourselves of knowing this truth is of, of a Holy Spirit, you know, and that's not, like I said, it's not to be prideful, you know, to sit here and think that you're just better than any or everybody with a prideful attitude. No, nah, we're better because we follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability, all right? And we see that the wicked, they despise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So ultimately, yes, that makes us better, if the Lord's willing, you know, because really we're nothing, you know, unless the Lord deems us to be something, all right? So. You know, the eagles, they, they when, when it's a storm, they come out, you know. Hey, the scriptures say how we we stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. The Lord, Yahweh Shah, told us to go on the highways and byways. So we're like the front line, you know. We're giving our bodies as a living sacrifice. We expose ourselves, you know, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's sake to speak the truth, for the, alert, the word to get out. So in a carnal mindset about it, it's like with targets when you look at it. You know, certain jokers who wanted to be studio prophets they wanted to be israelites and just worship holiday uh holy days excuse me and not and then you got to set a group of israelites that believe that we're not supposed to even be out there teaching and prophesizing which is crazy but they think that we're you know targets and stupid you know we're the ones that's just they're gonna come again and they're gonna be all right well guess what you know they're chickens man just like he said with his uh analogy you know, the chickens, when the storm come, they run into their barns. But the eagles, they fly into the storm, <laughs> you know. And that's just for motivation for brothers to go hard in the spirit, man. You know, even when it get tough, we rejoice in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, as the accounts with Paul and Silas and many other, other prophets who were persecuted, when they were persecuted, they rejoiced, you know, because it showed that they were being uh, persecuted for the name of the Lord. And, and that's beautiful because that means that the Lord is dealing with you, man. You know, you would know. So let me uh, play a little more. You do what you do. A lot of you guys, you go to the club, you buy your bottle, you, you, you get your VIP, you get your expensive liquor, you know what I'm saying? You pop your pills, you pop your money, you do your drugs, you know what I'm saying? You stay in your lane. You want to be weak, you want to be soft for your family, you stay in your lane. You stay right in your lane, and we gonna stay in our lane. We don't bother you, don't bother us. Cause we different. We walk this planet like a warrior. Warrior mindset. Train your body like a warrior. Eat like a warrior. Think like a warrior. Yeah, a warrior of Yahweh Shai, man. Meaning our warfare is not carnal, but we're warriors for Yahweh Shai's sake. The scriptures say we're fools for Yahweh Shai's sake. So we eat different, we walk different, we talk different. You know, there's a certain glow about brothers, you know, when other people see it. That's why them demons attack you because they know that it's something about you that's different. You know, it's something about you that's righteous that they want to taint. You know, so that's why you constantly get attacked, you know, by individuals you might not even know. It just be the spirit. You know, we're, we're, li we're literally in hell right now. And we're looking to be in heaven, which the Lord Yahweh Shah is going to bring upon this earth real soon. You know, so we're different, man. The only thing our mind is greatness. The only thing our mind is winning. That's all champion thing. Yeah, that's all the champion is going to think about is winning. Our winning is salvation, man. That's all we think about is salvation. Each day you wake up, you got to do it all over again. You know, push the truth. You know, do your responsibilities. Get what you got to get to, you know, survive. But the main thing is, uh, is on our mind is salvation. Salvation, man. Every day watching the news is always something new coming up. You know, always some update report or some destruction, a famine coming. You know, or, you, hey, you know, what's on our mind is salvation. Think about, never think about losing. Never think about giving up. Hey, 
because when you get uh, seduced in the spirit, you, you that's when you think about giving up. But a but a but a man of the Lord that got a, a faith. Let me get away from this ice cream truck. But a man of the Lord that has faith, he don't think about losing his faith. He's not thinking about being seduced or getting um yeah getting seduced in the spirit by a philosopher, you know, because why? He been studied, you know. That's why you know scriptures say give thou uh, uh, give diligence. Matter of fact, I have that here, which let's read the scripture. So lucky if I'm doing a lot of talking. Just trying to just striving to break down the uh, video. I thought I had that scripture here. Uh, well, anyway, the scriptures say give diligence. Oh, here we go. This is Second Peter's one and nine. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from the old from his old sins. <laughs> All right, and that's the difference that we have in this truth is that the Lord gave brothers of the whole four elect that vision. You know, so he that lack of these things is blind, meaning they're not seeing the vision. They're not seeing the famine. They're not seeing the destruction of Esau. They're not seeing the force of the RFID microchip. Okay, the mark of the beast. It says they cannot see afar off. They can't see uh, uh, past what they can see with their bodily eyes. It says I have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. So you got some men who come in this truth, but then they fall short. Now, verse 10, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So you're not going to think about uh, uh, falling out because you're giving diligence, you know, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. You know, we hope and we believe that we of the elect, the hopeful elect, you know, but it boils down all the way to the end. Okay, but if we give diligence to this word and do what the Lord said to do, okay, then we're making our calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. And these scriptures should come in mind, you know, all the time, whenever you're meditating and examining yourself to see whether you in this truth or not. You know, that should come in mind, you know. So let's play a little bit more. Do what it takes for them to win. Do whatever it takes for you to win. And he said, do whatever it takes to win. We're doing whatever it takes to win, to see salvation, you know. All right, the next step, I'm going to teach you guys how to blend it up. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand, I went for 200 pounds, 260 pounds. Right now, I'm 217 pounds. So I bend it. I know how to put the weights up. I know how to go up in weight, and I know how to break it down. But guess what? Both take hard work and discipline. Both take hard work and patience. Both take hard work and consistency. You got to know what you're doing. You got to feel it. You got to live it. Got to live it, man. <laughs> Yahweh Shah lived it. All right, he's the one that conquered death for us, man. All right. Uh, so I can. All right. Let's play. Uh. A lot of you suckers right now just training. You just training. You just want to eat healthy, train healthy, just to look good in the back of on the beach. We warriors. We victorious. We get to conquer. We get to take over. We will not lose. We refuse to be a loser. We refuse to be average. We refuse to be regular. What I look like? What I look like a man walking this planet regular? What I look like being a man knowing that God created me, knowing that I have God in my own image, knowing that God is my father, that he created the heaven, heaven and earth, and I'm walking on this planet regular. I have DNA. My DNA is made to be great. that <laughs> he said that hey our dna is made to be great the dna of the israelites in particular starting with the elect is made to be great we're the rulers of this world man and when yahweh shall return we're going to rule it in righteousness so you know i just like i said uh let me read a few of these scriptures here this is revelations 3 and 15 i know thou works that thou art neither cold nor hot i would thou cold or hot I would thou wit cold or hot, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will splew thee out of my mouth. So you don't want to be lukewarm in this truth. 
you lukewarm, the Lord gonna splew you out. You know, there's one thing that this rapper, um, Kevin Gates said, that demon, but it makes sense in the saying he said, he said that if you can't be used, then you're useless. And that's, and that's the truth. You know, if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, uh, he can't be, you, if you can't be used, then you're useless. So if you, you can't be used by the Lord, then you're useless. So he's going to splew you out, man. All right, 2 Peter 1 and 9. But he that lack of these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. All right, we went over that. Matthew 19 and 26. But Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with Yahweh all things are possible, man. And that's the faith we got to have, man. You know, his attitude, even though he in the world, but that motivating type, that spirit he got is a spirit that brothers got to have in his truth. I, sh I hope to have, you know, to be encouraged, to be motivated, you know, to have courage, you know. And, and have it toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with our faith because Yahweh Shai said, well, it says Matthew 19, 26, but Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible, but with Yahweh, all things are possible. So there's a limit with men, but with Yahweh, the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, there's nothing impossible. All things are possible, man. You know, so 1 Corinthians 15 and 58 Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So, man, our works that brothers do in the Lord is not in vain, man. Okay? It is all, uh, you know, stored up for us in the kingdom in heaven. You know, it is our records to show. You know, Paul said, uh, faith without works is dead. You know, so we can prove our faith by our works, as Paul said, you know. So we're, so what? To be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, man. Even if, you know, you got to just go back to the basics, you know. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. All right. Colossians 3 and 23. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. So everything we do, we want to do it with sincere sincerity on, uh, in, in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. I hope it was motivational, you know, for brothers who could be weak, you know, and brothers who are strong. Hopefully it excites you. You know, you could watch this video yourself and watch the whole thing. But when I saw this, man, I was just gave me a charge. I was just like, hell yeah, you know, make you want to get up and go work out, <laughs> you know, just being honest. But. You know, uh, hopefully this lesson was edifying, man. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.